Judges, are you ready? Perfect. Do nations have the right to send many people to their deaths? I'm referring to the policy of conscription. This is forced military service through labor or combat. Now, scholars have suggested that conscription is de facto gendercide, the intentional destruction of a group targeted by gender. A UN official has been put on record as saying that men are resources for national defense. My research asks the question, does conscription lead to genocide? And I use a comparative model to assess various conscripting cases. Out of 66 nations that currently conscript, only four require both men and women to serve. And this is clearly a discriminatory issue. However, genocide is more than discrimination. It's also exploitative, intentional destruction. Consider four cases that outline the concept of exploitative conscription. The mass destructed armies of World War I. The labor Armenian conscripts, the genocide committed by the, Arme uh, by the Ottoman Empire. The massive social unrest and upheaval caused by the draft for the war in Vietnam, and more recently, the Syrian refugee crisis. Many people might not, might not realize that there are many young men fleeing their conscription orders. Now, my research analyzes several cases and asks what can we do to prevent these risks of gendercide from occurring. Now, in the US, there is no conscription, but young men must register for the selective service system. Young women have no such law to obey. And so there is a case to be made that this is discrimination. I suggest that the US can act as a model for reform for the UN and conscripting nations by adding one question to enlistment forms. Do you give informed consent to be placed at risk of combat, injury, or death? By furthering these causes of gender integration and consent, we can end discrimination and further prevent the risks of gendercide. Thank you.